Hi everyone, this is Esan. So in this video I'm going to show you how I would request you to upload your files in Canvas for all the assignments that you will be doing for this course through Kinese 385. So assuming, not assuming, this is your home page. First, let us go to the discussion section and when it comes um, click on the link which suggests which assignment you want to submit assuming that you want to submit lab 1 click on lab 1 assignment 1 then read the general requirements for the lab assignments always make sure that you have written down your names and UIDs of all the group members when submitting uh, always make sure that you have posted your reply uh, uh, according to your lab sessions which is given here a general understanding and I've also explained something in class um, always make sure that the answers are submitted via canvas discussion board under the appropriate thread for your section um, and also please make sure that you have provided a hard copy to your TA which will be me and the file formats that we allow for this course would be these three PDF doc and docx and only these three and as I've talked about also make sure that your answers are logical and written in a scientific professional and formal manner and there is no need to be verbose um, so now say for instance someone from section some group from section 102 would like to submit their reply in that case let's go to section 102 which is written here click on reply write down all the names so names one so it would be s on one name two s on two so s on one s on uid um which would be i don't know zero 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 something 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 and then s on you do it for the second uh person in my group i do it for the second person in my group that would be um uh, so name actually not names name two would be s on two assuming there was there was another s on and then there is a uh, uid and you get the idea right make sure that you have that lab title written here although i know which what is the lab title because you are submitting the lab under that appropriate appropriate thread however i would still request you to write it this way and also the lab number or the assignment number make sure you're consistent then always make sure you have written down your section number it's a practice you will understand that you need to know your section number so uh, this is a good practice so now that you're done do not write down all the replies reply one uh, or answer one do not write it down this way do not write it down here please attach a file separate file that would be click on attach choose the file say for instance it was this image file that i have over here then click on open and you see it has been uh, selected and then click post reply make sure when you attach the files you have the doc file or the pdf file or the uh, docx version and also the excel files if you have any if you have it uh, make sure this doc files has all the answers the tables uh, positioned in a fitted way way the answers are justified justified 
um, and the image is properly explained the images or graphs properly explained uh, when you're done post that reply by clicking post reply and now that say for instance you have posted one of these and suddenly you realized that this post was uh, for some reason not the perfect one and you still have time to submit a new one in that case make sure that you have deleted your previous post and repost a new version or the updated version making sure that you have met all the standards that I've talked about over here um, also do the same uh, so what I mean by also do the same is like all the lab title lab number as uh, uh, names and section numbers make sure you have written down those in your PDF file as well and also make sure that you have brought a hard copy in class I think that should be it take care uh, have a wonderful day